Hello everyone, I'm Nafanik. Welcome to our botanical adventure in Botany Manor. We are in the library. We opened it last time. So now let's start. We have a postcard here. Uh, thank you, postcard. Dear Lady Green, thank you kindly for the flower books you sent for my daughters. To this day she'll still show an interest in learning more about plants and painting. I'm keen that my daughters have access to a good education, so I hope you don't mind me putting it upon you that you might be able to teach them somehow. Your dedication and knowledge seem so rare and inaccessible elsewhere for young girls like mine. I hope you will consider my proposal. Sincerest regards, Olive Campbell. That is a nice postcard for a change. A study locked. Then here we have a chair and we have a we have a beautiful view from the window, but we have a chair and we have a book. Modern methods of teaching. So Arabella decided to teach that girl after all. Wonderful. This door is open. Well, unlocked. Now it's open. So this is like a full-scale library, it seems. Botanical allies. Ooh, four new plants added. This chapter is uh, rather big. Where do we start with? Oh, this is like the top floor of the library. Ooh. This is so wonderful. So many... Look at that sweet trash window. Is this how it's called? I don't know, but it's so beautiful. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a ball invitation. Your company is respectfully solicited at a New Year's ball to be given at Somerset Hall, Thursday, 4th of January, 1860. Supper is at 6 o'clock. Good music in attendance. Cousin, wash your hands and accompany me. You won't find a husband at the bottom of the garden. Maybe she doesn't want to. Very specifically doesn't want to. I think it was 30 years ago as well, right? At this point it's 1890. Yes, it was 30 years ago. So Arabella very explicitly didn't want to find a husband. The golden fish. One bright morning, a poor fisherman caught a shining golden fish. The fish cried, Please let me leave. I'm not a fish but a prince enchanted by a wicked spell. So the fisherman let the fish go free. When the fisherman's wife learned of this, she demanded the fish grant a wish in return for its freedom, a cottage instead of the hovel where they lived. So the fisherman returned to the shore and the fish granted their wish. I'm surprised. I thought that this was um, Russian folklore, but it seems to be rather universal in Europe, in a way, maybe. Really surprised. But the wife was greedy and demanded riches, a palace and servants. All the while the ocean became dark and the shore was black with dirt. Finally, the wife wished to be so powerful that she could grant wishes for herself. In return for this greedy request, the fish revoked all of the wishes it had granted. After that, the ocean became blue again, the shore clean, and the fisherman never saw the golden fish ever again. Is that a clue? Botanical allies. Nightfall, sapphire gloom, cradle fern, brook chalice. Oh yes, fish fable is the clue. But for which of the plants? <laughs> no idea. We will find that out later. Okay, so is there anything on this side? I assume there is. Plenty of reading material more. The hare and the turtles. At midday, a hare and the turtles took a walk together. The hare moved quickly and noticed the turtles struggling to keep up. The hare laughed and challenged the turtles to a race. The tortoise accepted. A course was decided and the race began. The hare immediately leapt out of sight but then lay down to take a nap, sure that the tortoise would never catch up. 
the turtle split it slowly on, making his way towards the finish line. When the hair awoke from his nap, he opened his eyes just in time to see the turtles crawling slowly across the fishing line. The proud hare had been so sure that he would win and underestimated the turtles. As the turtles crossed the finish line, he exclaimed, Slow and steady wins the race. That is a clue again, right? Wait, no? It's not listed here, but it is listed in the whole book of clues, in the whole list of clues. Maybe it's not a clue for a flower, maybe it's a clue for something else. We have another book here. The Rising Sun, but we cannot read that book. Okay, so is that a clue as well? Yes! Okay, so I don't think it actually relates to flowers, but somehow it is a clue to a story, maybe. Anything here? No. Alright. Can we climb up? No. So we need to go downstairs. Can you imagine the smell of books? The scent of books? that you would experience here in this building, in this room. I look at that window, I love it so much. Okay, let's start with what is in front of us. Another fable. The fox and the crow. One evening a fox was in search of something to eat for dinner. He saw a crow sitting on a tree branch holding a big piece of tasty cheese in her beak. So the fox came up with a plan. He walked up to the crow and complimented her shiny black feathers. The crow was suspicious of the fox and kept her beak tightly closed on the cheese. The fox kept on charming the crow, describing her as the most majestic of all birds with a big strong beak. Oh, what a song that beak must make! It must be the song of a queen! Please, beautiful crow, let me hear it! Flattered by the praise, the crow forgot all about her suspicion and also her dinner. So she opened her beak wide to utter her loudest call, and down fell the cheese straight into the fox's open mouth. Is this depiction of cheese important in any way? We have moon, fish, sun. I think so. We have a fish. We have a story about fish. We have a book that is called Sunrise. We have a story about crow and uh, fox, and we have a story about her and the turtles. What is this story? Mm, about moon something? Where do I find it? Have I read it? I could have forgotten about it. <laughs> Nothing here. All right. Aha, here is the last one. Wonders of the night sky. So, I assume that we need to press maybe in some kind of order. So, the first story that we saw was about Fi... Was it? Then it was here and the tutors. Then it was sunrise. Then it was crow. And then it was the last book about uh, Did I get it right? If I look up, well, I cannot look up, but so over there we had fish. Over there we had turtles and hare. Between them we had crow. So let me try it again. So it would be... Wait, no. Yes? Uh, where was the sunrise book? Was it directly above? No, the sunrise book was over... Uh, I need to come up again. 
I think that I need to press them them in an order how they appear here. So we have Oh, Tutus was the first one. Okay, so actually let me write it down. That probably will make things much easier. So this one is here. Then we had Okay, so that one was I'm I'm not sure, but we had a here there then we had I assume that the crow will be in between here and the sunrise. No, but then the sunrise is directly opposite of the fish man tail. There are symbols, I think. I don't know, we have fish here. My assumption was wrong. I thought that maybe they are placed in an order, but they don't seem to be. But also, if I take another approach, the fox and the crow one evening, so that will be number one. Then there were three stars with the moon, so maybe there are some depictions here. Maybe I need to be more attentive at midday. Here, midday. Then we have a fisherman tail. Let me get to it. Is there any hint about time of the day or maybe um, something, something? Yes! The golden fish, one bright morning. All right. Fish, morning. Okay, I get it now, I think. And then, what was that? Aha, this is a sunrise, a rising sun. Okay, I think I got it. Fox and crow one evening. And the last one was uh, the night, basically. The night sky. All right. I see now. I think that I'm right. Okay, so the rising sun, this will be it. Then we have fish in the morning. Then we have hair in the midday. And then we have a crow one evening. And then we have a night. Yes! Oh, I want to be here so much. Sunset, 1st of May, red, orange, yellow, pink. I think that's another clue. Should I maybe start taking pictures? I think that might be relevant to flowers. Sunset, 22nd of May. Uh, one second, is that relevant? Yes. Sunset paintings are relevant to flowers, so I will start taking pictures of them. That will help me, so I will not have to come back and forth. All right. Sunset, 8th of July, blue, purple, pink, orange. Absolutely magnificent paintings, I would say. Like, even, even in a game, it would be much more astonishing in real life. Like one painting by itself of a sunset wouldn't tell you much, like wouldn't show you much, but when you see the collection of paintings of sunsets, oh, can you imagine that? I'm taking photos of all this so that I could use it later in my investigations that hopefully I will be able to complete because I don't think it will be too easy. Maybe it will. All right. So the paintings are done. Then we have here a newspaper. A London record. Lindley appointed chair of botany at University College London. After an esteemed early career as assistant secretary to the Horticultural Society and admission as one of the youngest ever fellows to the Linnean Society, John Lindley plans to elevate the science of botany. He spoke thus in his inaugural lecture. It has been very much the fashion of late years in this country 
to undervalue the importance of the science and to consider it an amusement for ladies rather than an occupation for the serious thoughts of men. Lindley also challenged the linear classification system and proposed many changes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we found the seat packet. That is a nightfall. I vaguely recall my grandmother starting in the nightfall when I was young. A key to a study. Nightfall progress. Grandma's research. I have been trying to encourage the nightfall to bloom for a little while now. I am determined to prove it's more than just a myth. So far, I have deduced that the flower opens at sunset and only during a particular time of year. When exactly that occurs still remains a mystery to me. I shall plant a few more seedlings tomorrow and continue my research. That's it. There is no continuation. Well, I understand now why she was painting sunsets. But which sunset is the right one? I probably need to go to the study to find it out. Let's go then. Alrighty, here is the study. Another seed packet. That's too many seed packets for my mind. I will confuse them. Sapphire Gloom. Judging by the name, I don't believe this to be an edible ma that's a mushroom. How do we plant mushrooms? Also, I assume that this will relate to nightfall. I assume. Might be wrong. What are these? Crested old egg? Golden mallard egg? Blue heron egg? Okay, there are eggs. Three diseases. Red tree pox. If a tree is infected with red tree pox, many small red spots will be visible on the bark. It can be usually be cured by adding fertilizer to the soil of the tree. Hypoxylone. Hypoxylone causes the black patches to form on the bark of the tree. It is usually a sign that the tree is lacking in hydration and won't stay alive for much longer. Root parasite. The root parasite is a fungus that forms purple rings on the bark and roots. The parasite leaches the nutrients that the tree retrieves from the soil. Eventually, it causes the tree to dry out and lose all of its leaves. There is currently no known cure. Bark rust. Bark rust is a disease that isn't very harmful to the tree. It is usually caused by excess hydration and too much sunlight. That can be a clue for mushrooms. Bird eggs are clues as well. Oh, is that meadow orchids of Britain? And we have a letter here. Letter from Anne. My dear friend, I have been pondering this last week so what could be the best way to see your remarkable flora reach the wider world, since it is so seldom we are able to see our work published. Considering your uncle's reputation in the science field, have you considered asking him to publish your herbarium under his name? It may not give you the recognition you deserve personally, but it would be a way to reach your goal of adding to the scientific record of botany. Do consider it. I would hate for such important research to stay hidden away. Oh, I mean... Now are much better times. It is still very difficult now, in many, many fields. One would say in all of the fields, to be a woman. But it just, it irks me so much. <laughs> okay, another book. Mushroom food sources. Just like plants, fungi need food sources to grow strong and healthy. However, some fungi haven't always had access to nutrients through soil and have evolved to retrieve it in different ways. This means they have become carnivorous because they only acquire the nutrients they need by consuming other living organisms such as flies, bugs and plants. Really? Such mushrooms even get their nutrients from 
feeding on another type of fungus or parasite. I mean, yes, some of the mushrooms like can live on a living organism, like even on people. So yeah, that's true. Mushrooms growing on a tree is usually a sign that they are consuming the trees, so you should remove them immediately. Not always the case. Oh, wait a second, there is something else here. Professor's note. Arabella, I have some more books from the department today that may be of interest for your research. One I recall was a favorite of your father's. If you have any trouble when you visit the college, tell the secretary you are collecting materials for your uncle. So long as they return before summer ends, the other professors won't notice. Best of luck with your research. The uncle isn't as half bad. Hmm, okay. Let me think. Mushroom book. Definitely would be about mushrooms and uh, tree diseases. And somehow I can already grow this mushroom. How? I understand that root parasites might be related to the mushroom that we are going to grow, but do I need to find a tree that I want to put mushroom spores into? How is it going to work? I don't quite know. Oh! Here's a tree, and here is... Okay! That's why there was a tree there. Let me take a put. Wonderful. Okay, let's start working on that. What is that? Sapphire gloom, yes. Do we water it? I suppose so. Even mushrooms like water. Even more so than regular plants. And then... Oh, really? That's it? Oh! Look at that! That was so beautiful. didn't expect that to happen at all but I think that maybe we got access to the door over there because the branch moved or I think that might be the case no wait we are oh yes 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 it should work yes absolutely yes the tree somehow is blocking the access, so now we can enter this room. And now we can enter further. Okay. And what is this place? The trapped fairy. Oh! That is a beautiful... Arctic. It's locked. We have a letter here. Letter about beads. Dearest Arabella, I was taking a walk along a river in Somerset recently and noticed a sight that I just had to write to you about. In the water, I saw the brook chalice blooming. I've never seen or heard of it flowering before. None of my books mention of it. It was so beautiful. Do you have any idea what would have caused this? Is that a clue for brook chalice? Letter about weeds. Let's put that right away. Okay. So we're doing pretty well. Pretty great. Oh. Oh, the eggs. Cradle fern. Fern painting. There are eggs. Somehow it relates to the cradle fern. Let me add these bird eggs here and fern painting here fairy painting is somehow a clue as well how is that a night glow I don't know what to make of it I 
Oh, I found another planting station here. I have another door here. Okay. And I have another door here. So many doors. So many, so many ways to go. Let's start with this one. Look at this chair. Ooh. So wonderful. A letter from Montague. Dear Lady Arabella, I wanted to thank you once again for your invaluable contributions during our recent Metal Orchid Research Exhibition. Your keen observations and deep knowledge of orchids was so helpful. Your dedication to the field is an inspiration to us all. I look forward to future collaborations and continued exploration of the botanical wonders that surround us. I will put in a good word for you with botanical sensor. <gasps> that is so wonderful. I love seeing this. A key to the attic. Yet another door unlocked now. So many doors. <laughs> I'm so lost. River Rust. River Trust. River Swimming this session. Dear members, we want to make sure you can all enjoy swimming this summer. So we have cleared the most polluted rivers in Somerset of all aquatic weeds. The river Cam, the river Chu and the river Soma have all been cleared of weeds thanks to the service of Clark's Aquatic Weed Removal Co. Cooperation. Thank you for your continued support. Thanks to your monthly donations, the rivers of Somerset are clean and weed free. Is that a clue to Brook Chalice? Yes, I think so. That would make sense, right? And there is something else. Government notice, health and safety warning. It has been brought to our attention that the factory of Barton Iron Brooks has been illegally dumping scrap metal in rivers across Somerset. These rivers are now polluted with rust, making them unsafe for swimming. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, 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 wait a second. The river from was also affected by the waste, though, oddly, the river is completely clear of rust pollution. We are still researching what led to that effect. I think that's a clue. I think... what? where was that letter? Here? Is that it? Mm, it doesn't say which river she was swimming in. Maybe it was mentioned somewhere else. Okay, but what do we do? Do we... There is another door here. Oh no. I love it when there is so many clues, but also I get so lost. River Somerset. I will take a picture. Don't know if it's important. I assume that's a clue again. For this plant but i don't know like i don't have a solution yet uh, what is that letter about melodies dearest arabella i'm writing to share with you an exciting discovery i have made in my botanical studies it turns out that some plants are particularly sensitive to sound and seem to thrive when exposed to music or melodies from their natural environment. I hope to share more of my findings with you in the near future and would be delighted if you could join me in my research. Marian. That is a clue again, but I don't know for, for which plan, so I probably will leave it for now. Okay, so we're done here, then what do we do? Do we go to this room or do we climb up the stairs? Oh, choices. Uh, let's go here. That's a bedroom. Is this our bedroom? Another seat packet? Cradle fern. I'm pretty sure that these two clues relate to this plant. The past years, these ferns have drastically declined on the banks, so I feel compelled to research any changes in the environment. I wonder if somehow it relates to melodies. 
fairy painting would make sense as well, maybe. Oh, okay, let's see. Aquatic weed removal. Do you have a pond? Do you want to swim in it? Is it covered in slimy weeds? We are specialized in removing the following weeds. Algae, Himalayan balsam, brook chalice, duckweed. Hmm, is that a clue? Y yes, it is. A petition to be presented to the Honorable House of Commons. In recent years, hunts have been taking place near the Somerset rivers. Tragically, this had led to the decline and extinction of some bird species. No longer can we hear the beautiful chime-like calls. We call upon the government to regulate hunting near the rivers of Somerset. We ask that they respect the breeding times of wildlife. If you agree, please sign below and return this letter to us. No expense attend signing. Is that a clue again? Yes. But I want to remove it because I don't think that's the right clue. But there is no way to remove. I can only exchange them. Unless maybe there is. I don't know. Let me try this button. This? No. I made a mistake. The Trapped Fairy. A folk tale. Once upon a time, there was a little fairy who loved gazing at her own reflection in the water. She lost track of the time, and the day turned into night. Nyx, goddess of the night, noticed the little fairy. The moon was shining bright, but the fairy only had eyes for herself. Nyx took offense and decided to punish the little fairy. Nyx placed the fairy into a nightfall and cast a spell on her. She fell in love with the moon and gazed upon the sky all night. As dawn approached and the sun rose, the spell broke. Though just as fairy awoke from her enchantment, the flower pot closed and trapped the fairy for eternity. Okay, that relates to nightfall. Fairy painting. Fairy story. I can assign one clue to different plants. I thought it would be removed here. A cat! My dear Nova, never forgotten. A letter from Eliza. Dearest friend, it seems our interest in visiting the private plant collection of Lord Spencer has gone unacknowledged. While disappointing, I am not sure it is, it is worth pursuing scientific study in such places. On a recent visit to Brinsby, the young man showing us around had barely a basic knowledge of plants, and due to there being a large group of gentlemen in the party, all useful time and erudition was devoted to them and none given to Constance and I. Let us plan another trip for our own and perhaps we can see these specimens in their home habitats where they belong. A really nice soft bed. Nothing here. Another door. I assume that will be a bathroom. A very nice one. What is this? What do I need to do with this? Oh! Okay. Well, I put it back. For now, can I put it back, please? I cannot. Come on, disappear. <laughs> I cannot catch it. It appears and disappears. All right, got it. Oh, there is so many of them. Flush toilet. Clean and tidy. <laughs> Plumbing quote. Installation of disconnected pipes. Dear Arabella, here is our quote to repair the grazer in your bathroom. The cost might seem high, but trust us, it's a complex job, but left to the professionals. Have a nice day. Oh, there is a kind of quite old show from 80s, I think, the Golden Girls. 
and it reminded me of that show. There was an episode where they had uh, their toilet broken and a man would come in to, to fix it and they were rude and uh, the girls didn't want so they decided to fix it themselves. One of the best episodes in my opinion. Aha! A hot bath at the tour of a tap provides a rapid flow of hot water. Simply turn the tap and instantly hot water will appear. Can be used multiple times in a row without any extra cost. Alrighty. Mm, I don't know how is that. In oh, that is important. We are going to put a flower, a plant in there. So that is important. Let's fix that now then. Okay. How do you look like? Alright, so that's done. Oh, wait a second, maybe that's not done. Um, ha. Uh, trying to understand how many points of connection there is. And uh, I don't know. Maybe they all need to be collected. Connected. So this would go here. And we have these pipes. They go here, and then we have this pipe. How many pieces do we have? I don't think I'm doing a great job here right now. I think uh, it's wrong. I would assume that... I oh, yes, here it is. No, I am doing a great job. I just didn't notice the last piece. Wonderful. Who needs a plumber? Exactly. We can do it all ourselves. Uh, but I don't even have a slightest idea what kind of flower I need to put in there. Oh, brook chalice. Right, right? Yes. But I don't have a seed yet. I need to go to the attic. Because it grows in the river. That's why. Okay, uh, we are here. We need to go upstairs. There is some wind, there are some bells. And then there is a flower that will certainly like the sound of bells. Oh no! Please no! I'm so not good at that. Mm, but if they are noted, I think I will be fine. I just remembered. So there is a Nancy Drew game. One of many, many. I don't remember which one. And there was a game where you would need to get the note from hearing. And like, if your ear is not trained, it's so difficult. I, I don't usually use any walkthroughs when I play Nancy Drew games. But I actually had to look it up because it was impossible. Well, it is to me. I'm pretty sure that so many other people would totally be fine. Okay, so I need to go to the attic, I would assume. I need to... Was it here? Yes. I need to get a seat packet. Oh, butterflies! Oh, okay. The flower growing companion. Gardening curiosity is trapped moth. Sometimes a moth can be trapped inside a flower, but if it closes in the morning, the moth is then forced to use the flower bud as a resting place until it opens again later. Some flowers only bloom for short periods during the year, so if the moth is unlucky, the flower bud won't open again until many months later. I think that is related to Nightfall. What is this? Moth Sporting Calendar. Ooh. Aha! The fairy, the painting of the fairy, had a golden tiger moth in it. Right? And uh, if I scroll through here... I might find it. Oh, September. Okay. September. That is a clue for nightfall. I think that would make sense. So 
so dusty. A piggy. Oh. Oh! I need to bring it to the bathtub. Before I forgot about that. Let's bring it there. Alright. I think that I understand the assignment correctly. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. But I think I'm right. Hopefully. Alright. The sight of plants. Some scientists have theorized that plants have photoreceptors in their leaves and stems, which allows them to see the color of the light. This means that flowers can tell the time of day and know when to open or close their buds. The exact time that flowers bloom is different for each flower, but most do appear to respond to light and the colors of light in some way. Horticulturists and botanists have made use of this knowledge to trick difficult flowers into blooming at any time they like. Uh -huh. And that is the last... Yes! Oh, I got it right! Should I just go back before I forgot about how to do it? I think that we had a planting station somewhere around here. Actually, maybe... I think maybe that's fine. I don't know. I'm just thinking maybe I need to go back to the other planting station, but it doesn't make really difference. So we have a nightfall here. And now we need to... Return to the library. Uh, where was it? Wait, no, that was the study room. Right? No, wait. Where was it? Oh, that was in Grandma's um, hidden quarters. If I find my way, yes, here it is. So, it was September. Uh, May, May, July. I need to find September, October, April, um, September, blue, yellow, orange, red, but, 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 um, there is no place where to place it. Hmm, I'm pretty sure it was September, but I don't know how to place the flower pot directly so that it could enjoy this painting. Mm, maybe I need to find another place. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Let's look for blue, yellow, orange, red. Oh! Uh, not quite. I don't know. Sands and paintings, side of plants. Yes! This should be, but there is no way to place it. Like, it usually would have a saucer to place the pot on if there is a place to place a plant. But I don't see anything. I don't know. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Maybe that is actually in the attic. I just thought that I would need to place it right close to the painting itself. But uh, that definitely didn't work, so... Like, there is no manipulation of uh, light anywhere. I honestly don't know. I thought I had uh, the solution, but I obviously didn't. So maybe it is here somehow. Oh! Magic lantern! Here it is! Alright! Um, but where do I put it? Wait a second, wait a second, I need to find a source of... Ah, here it is. Got it. Alright. Let's see. So, how do we do it? So, we need blue. Uh, blue. Yellow. Orange. I should have looked here first and then 
I was too much in a hurry before I forgot the solution. All right, and now let's project slides and that worked. I got it. Oh, oh, it is so beautiful. Amazing. You would believe that fairies live in this plant. Since the nightfall bloom is a rare event. The flower only blooms with September sunsets. Night pollinators active in September, such as garden tiger, often get trapped in once the bud closes for the rest of the year. This is the most magnificent plant. So far the most beautiful one. We have another letter here. Dinner invitation. My dear niece, I fear the window may be closing for you to find a suitable husband. I have arranged a dinner for you to meet my neighbor's son, Edward. He is um, successful in business in London. Your cousins William and Thomas may well aspire to become accomplished scientists, but for you, Arabella, it is better to make yourself useful in the small duties of life for which you will be loved and appreciated. Your studious nature will no doubt be valuable should you have a son, but it would be foolish to allow such a folly to come before the important things in life. I am confident that this is what your parents would have wanted. Dinner will be from 5 o'clock on Sunday. Remember to wear a becoming dress. <sighs> Toadstools. Another duck. Mallard. We have a botanist digest. This month, in conversation with Professor Montague, leading expert in British meadow orchids, in his word, every plant, every leaf, and every meadow hold secrets awaiting to be unlocked. My aim is simply to uncover those of some of those mysteries. Professor John Montague, renowned botanist, sheds light on his groundbreaking work in, in the world of meadow orchids and other botanical wonders. With um, decades of research and numerous publications to his name, Professor Montague's contribution to the field has been nothing short of revolutionary, including discoveries of new species such as Dictor, Livriza Montague, or Hood Marsh Orchid, the one that Arabella actually discovered. Alright, so we found the seed for Brook Chalice and uh, I suppose let's go and uh, try to make it flower, make it bloom. It wouldn't be first when a man appropriates discoveries made by a woman to his name. Which doesn't make it any more pleasant. Wouldn't be the last either. All right, let's take the pot. Let's put it here. Soil, brook chalice, water. I'm not confident at all. I don't know if I got it right. Uh, how do I turn it on? Alright. Oh, wait, that's temperature. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait a second. We don't want to... Oh, I need to find... I remember there was a letter from a friend that was swimming. There was a date. And then I will need to find the right temperature. 10th of August. Here it is. Oh, wait. Which river was that? I don't know. Yeah. Yes, I know, from the river was uh, river, river from 25, 25, I think, I hope, I did use it right, 25, uh, wrong direction, let me get it to 25, all right, and then let's see. Is 
Is that right? Yes, it is growing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, look at that. So magnificent. This chapter is so beautiful. And the rust was cleared. Brook chalice. The brook chalice prefers to grow in rivers with a temperature of 25. The plant naturally filters the water from the rust and metal. Unfortunately, they get removed often, as most people prefer their bones to be wheat free. But it's so beautiful. Why would you remove it? And the last one, cradle fern. Mm, there is something about melodies. Petition and... Uh, Oh, bird calls. Ah, we saw a picture of an egg. We need to deduce which bird it was, and then we need to replicate the melody of that bird. All right, I see now. Let me get to that picture first uh, again. Those eggs look like this. There is a very good chance that I will remember that, but I took a picture. Where did we have that thing with eggs? Alright, so this is the egg and that is a crescent owl egg. And now I need to go to the bell tower and replicate the sound of an owl. Let me take another port. Let me get ready. Cradle fern. Done. Water. Wonderful. So this is where we place it, right here. And then I need to replicate the melody of a crested O, E, C, D, E, G, F. sound like a bird at all but I'm happy that it worked anyway. The cradle fern is used by the crested owl as a nest and in turn the plant has grown dependent on the owl's chime like call to grow. Yoohoo! Alright! Chapter 4 is finished! Let's get the delivery and I will end the part after I put the delivery. So wonderful. I love this game so much. It brings so much peace in your mind. Even with all the annoyance about... Um, uh, where am I? Oh, here, 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 here is the exit. Like all these uh, sexist um, notes and letters and all that stuff, they are not pleasant at all. But nevertheless, the game brings some kind of very special piece in your mind. Really enjoy it. And we get another key. Formal garden. I remember seeing it, but I don't remember where I saw it. Apology from Jimmy. Lady Arabella, I apologize wholeheartedly for accidentally taking the key to the formal garden home with me. It was in my pocket and I had simply forgotten it was there. I didn't want to disturb your research, so I left the key in the basket here for you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. And I'm ending this part here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a nice day, night, morning. Bye-bye.